Yo, JD here. And as you can see by this video, something a little bit different here today. This is my brand new cockpit that I will be using for F1 22. And if you can't read it, it says a play seat. And this is the play seat ultimate for Sash Intelligence. And yeah, we're rocking the Fanatec DD1 wheel with the V Formula V2.5 steering wheel, which works on all platforms, which is very good for me because I do race on all platforms. And you will be able to see a little bit later, we are rocking the Fanatec V3 pedals as well. So just give me a little very, very low quality tour of my gaming setup. Excuse the cables. I know people will be going mental at that. As you're about to hear now with these paddle shifters. If you've been an owner of a Formula V 2.5 wheel in the past, they didn't have magnetic paddle shifters, which, yeah, this is a big, big game changer for me. Makes it much easier to stay in the gear you want. Doesn't result in double downshift accidentally. The actual wheelbase moves forwards and backwards with these little clips, these silver clips, which I'm about to show you here. If you turn that to the left or right, you can actually slide it forwards and backwards along with the seat itself. It's very, very comfortable and adjustable. And main reason why I switched this cockpit is I just wanted a more of a formula position itself. And I had a Sim SimLab P1X, which was an amazing cockpit. Um, and I've still got it as well. But I've played on Formula positions in the past. And yeah, for F122, I just wanted a bit of a change. And yeah, you are going to see my first few laps that I've ever done in this cockpit. And you're about to see here now that the only issue I have with this cockpit is that it's quite difficult to get into it's very very awkward i'm quite tall myself and yeah to get in it's a little bit tricky but once you're in it's incredibly comfortable and i have to say i just absolutely love the feeling of this cockpit itself and yeah similar sim lab p1x was amazing very very rigid but it was more of a gt style position although i tried to set it in as formula position as i could I really wanted that full formula experience and you no know, like in real F1 this is the kind of seating position they do have so I was really looking forward to trying this and we're actually on PlayStation 5 here today and this is my very first lap that I did a proper lap in the cockpit I did do 11 laps before but that was mainly to set up the wheel test the pedal distance and the force feedback but this is actually my very first lap where i felt quite comfortable uh, with the settings itself where i'm actually going to try and push as hard as i can and yeah immediately straight away very very comfortable absolutely rock solid itself i think one of the criticisms people had to place it in the past was it wasn't that rigid and there was a lot of flex in the wheel mount and the pedals itself but as you saw at the start of this video the wheel i think i have an advanced wheel mount especially for direct drive wheels it doesn't move a muscle and the pedal plate doesn't have any flex whatsoever as well so in terms of that aspect i was very very happy of it and yeah this position feels very different to the sim lab but as I said, I have been in a formula position quite a lot of times in the past when I've used play seat and pretty much immediately it felt very natural and comfortable to me. And yeah, this video is not a particularly long one. It's just to showcase my, really my first few laps with the cockpit itself. And you'll see that we just adapt to it uh, very, very quickly. And yeah, I really cannot wait to play f122 and yeah, there may be a video potentially coming out tomorrow so stay tuned for that because the early release does come out very very soon especially if you've got the championship edition for the game itself but yeah this is the last video that i will be doing on f122 
21 and overall in a nutshell a summary of the game itself i definitely had fun playing it as i do with every f1 game but i really hope there is definitely more attention to just the fundamentals of the game working correctly because i think the racing is always great and that's something that always makes up for issues with bugs and stuff of the game which you know, every game does have bugs and glitches but i really hope that codemasters like, the biggest issue i have with the games is not always the games itself it's about the developer actually listening to feedback and instead of taking it as criticism actually take it constructively to give what the players want um, rather than just adding features hopefully they can do some fundamental fixes and i think if they do that it will just make it a much better experience uh, overall itself but you can see here now we got on a pretty good pace pretty quickly and i think i'm showing the first three laps uh, that i ever did here and time trial is not my speciality uh, at all i think the world record is a, a legit 25.3 or something like that but yeah i think for the first couple or few laps that i've ever done in this cockpit it was a pretty good sign of things to come in the future and i will be doing a lot of open lobbies next week as well on all platforms so if you'd like to stay up to date with that make sure you follow me in my instagram and also join my discord because i will be inviting people into those lobbies if they wish to join and yeah you can see this up here we're under a tenth away from what our pb was which i set quite a while ago I think in fact and I think we're using the same setup as I did then as well and one thing to note as well is that the PlayStation 5 is definitely a very big upgrade compared to the PS4 and if I had to be honest I think it's probably my favorite platform to play as well which is very very smooth full speed that feels great interface is really really good as well so I'll probably be spending quite a bit of time on that platform as we come across the line now it's a 125.9 but as we did a few more laps you can see we're under a tenth away from our PB once again but then coming into here we do this fairly well and hit the curb just a little bit too much and yeah just need to develop that muscle memory a bit more of the different pedal positioning this is always just going to be a little bit of a different feeling to what i was used to but yeah looking at this i really couldn't complain too much i remember when i first got the sim lab it was actually quite a big learning curve when i did that but yeah please comment down below what cockpit you are using for f122 how excited are you for it itself I'm really, really looking forward to it, and hopefully everyone else is as well. But as we come into here now, it's got a little bit too hot, but we will be showing the fastest app that I actually did, and here it is. So, doing 16 laps in total, and coming through this turn one, so it's going to be completely flat out here. And coming into this right hand, I just have the 100 meter board. We really want to try and use as much of the track as possible. Don't be afraid to keep it in the middle of the track. Going to this left-hander. And we actually get a fairly decent exit coming off this corner. Faster than what we've done previously. So coming through to here, it's a 27.1. A high point one, which is actually pretty good for me. So I usually struggle in this first sector. Try and keep it as tight as possible. Slingshot yourself out the exit of this corner. And you can see we've got a incredible exit coming off here now going into the old turn one do we do a tiny lift yes we do usually you want to take that almost flat out so i'm not quite confident just yet flat out through here flat out through the right middle of the track that's where you turn it nice and early for the left slow in fast out for this right and keep it nice and tight on the exit to minimize the distance of the track and you can see we're about 800s up on our pb now we're coming towards the end of the hangar straight. Could have been a little bit earlier, tighter to there, but still gaining time. Now into the final chicane. Wasn't too bad. So, so gained a lot of time in the entry, but lost a little bit on the exit. And going across the line, it's a 25.7, which 
overall, I was very, very happy with. So thank you so much for support on the videos in F1 2021. I really hope you're looking forward to F1 22, where I will be doing quite a bit of content over this next month. So I really hope you will benefit from that and enjoy it as well. So thank you so much. And yeah, this is the end of F1 2021. So yeah, have a great day. Might be a video, special video coming out tomorrow. And I wish you farewell. Peace.